What is going on guys? Welcome. It's Monday. Happy Monday and hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Now, I'm excited today because I want to share another product research technique with you guys. So now, if you know about anything about business is that whenever you're trying to launch one product, you always want to launch it second, third and fourth. Reason being that a lot of times products change, sales change, they're not the same anymore, people don't have the same demand for it anymore, so you always wanna make sure that you don't put your eggs in one basket and rely on one product only. So that's why on Amazon you see a lot of successful sellers, they have hundreds of products, like a lot of the seven figures, if you guys know, they've sold hundreds of products. They never put their eggs in one basket. So imagine if you have 10 products, like at 10% of your business each, one falls off, you still have 90% of your business, right? But if you have one product that's selling 100% or generating 100% of your revenue, sales start to slow down or you lose the product, what happens? You're all of a sudden to zero. So never, never you want to put your eggs in one basket. Having said that, let's try this product research technique that I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I think it's going to be very powerful for you guys. I think the combination of tools that I've developed over the years uh, or the way that I use them uh, is really going to help you guys find that second, third, fourth product. Um, actually, that's how I found my third and fourth product. So, um, yeah, so I want to show you guys these tricks that I've developed and I think um, you guys following this and you guys actually like implementing this in your business will really prove beneficial for you. So uh, I've shown you guys a little sneak preview of it in my last live stream uh, where we started uh, talking about Amazon bestsellers but I want to show you guys how you can actually take that step further, a lot further that is in really zeroing on a product. So that's it, let's get right into it and I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright guys, welcome back. Now, let's start right away I want to show you guys how powerful this is again this is one of my techniques that I have actually shown a lot of people um, and it has found them their product and I think this is gonna be powerful for you guys now like I said I have too many techniques I try to change it up I try to see which one actually benefits and then um, that's what I'm gonna share I'm gonna share the success successful ones not the ones that I don't think it's gonna find you guys products because I don't want to waste your time so what we do with this one is actually start right away on Google and what you're gonna type in like I showed you guys on my uh, live stream is that you're gonna type in Amazon sorry Amazon bestsellers alright so that's the first thing you're gonna search you wanna load up the list of items that are Amazon's bestseller alright so let's give this a second there it is now this is the link that I want you guys to go for like this one yeah, you can go through that one as well, but this one, it says Amazon bestsellers. Um, all right. So once you're in there and um, guys, like why do we want to look at bestsellers? First of all, is that because there is demand for it. Amazon has ranked these products based on their revenue and based on the items they sell. So right off the bat, you know, there's a demand for these kind of products. So what you want to do is dig deeper and see what other related products are Amazon's bestsellers because these are hot products and um, this list is updated hourly guys so Amazon actually updates it every hour but what I have been doing is I've been monitoring to see over the past few weeks what item consistently stays within the top 10 and that's what you want to do you don't want a product that's like kind of like a one-hit wonder right you want to monitor it for a few days just to see what kind of products if especially if you know a category right so that's what it is so what I've been doing is I've been getting into the toys section a lot uh, for kids and that's the first category so we're gonna dig deeper and we're gonna see what else we can sell from that category so once you're on the Amazon's bestseller page you go click on this the category that you want they have different categories here I like I said guys don't get into electronics because the return ratio is really high it's gonna cost you guys a lot of money a lot of the items electronics that are made in China they may not be good quality so that's why I tend to stay away from that toys are actually one of my favorites because I get the least amount of returns with those things so let's get into the category and let's take a look at some of these items that we could potentially sell right so you will see now it's ranked uh, based on its revenue and number of items it sells on a daily basis. That's how they rank it. So right now, as it stands, you got number one is this swimming pool. The Jenga game is number two. You got LOL, surprise, something, 
boy series doll with seven surprises three um, what I'm looking for here is something with low number of reviews but is do but is really high in ranking like this one guys look at this like it's selling for $15.99 it's ranked number three which means it's number three in best sellers in this category and it only has 11 reviews how amazing is that right there was another one that I was like look at this guys $15.99 again similar product could be by the same seller three reviews and it's number six so right off the bat that piques my interest and I want to dig deep I want to see what this uh, seller is doing so I'm gonna dig a little deeper and see what this product is now you can stop here and say okay this is the product I want to sell I want to know that I know the competition is a bit lower but I tend to dig a little more deeper and see if I can get into more a bit of a niche uh, area not to make it too general so the first thing I want you guys to do once you hit on the product page I want you guys to go find the seller now the seller is lol surprise I want what I want to know is what else the seller is selling and if all the products they're selling is profitable and what are they doing right because they are actually selling quite a number of these with only three reviews surprising right so I'm gonna go into the sellers uh, front page which is basically their storefront where they will have all their Amazon products and now like I told you guys a lot of these um, really high revenue sellers they don't stay with one product they tend to have a multiple number of products different uh, in, in the same category uh, most of the time but they tend to have like a lot of product so you'll see this guy or this seller a little surprise which could be a company sort of like growing it has quite a number of items you guys see like how much this guy is selling so what I want to do is I want to run jungle scout against his storefront now I know that you guys may have heard that you can't run a jungle scout the chrome version against storefronts but that is not true well it's true to some degree there are storefronts that would not allow you to run jungle scout just the way they're coded but there are some that you can actually run so let's see if we can run on this one all right so it's the chrome extension again that i've installed with my chrome browser um it's the light version if you guys are wondering link is below if you guys want to check it out uh, it's very powerful i use it all the time for everything so um take a look at it i highly highly recommend it okay so this storefront is allowing me to load some of the products let's give it a few minutes I just want to I just want to see if this is going to load me everything so I see right off the bat that they're selling a product which is 42 reviews and they're selling three thousand dollars okay so they're not allowing me to get everything out let me okay guys since this one was not allowing us to load the storefront so we're gonna continue our search and we're gonna try to find another product that interests us and see what we can do with that so let's take a look let's take a look something with low reviews that can catch now you can go up to even like 25 30 it's fine uh, with this type of search uh, you're absolutely fine here okay let's take a look see 730 review 722 138 mm -hmm. some of these are really high numbers okay okay this is another one by the same seller that we saw before all right so okay this product looks interesting you got 12 reviews bunch of balloons uh, instant self-sealing water balloons okay summer is coming so maybe that could be a good product so let's take a look at this one all right and it's sold by bunch of balloons so we're gonna go to the sellers page we can load up their storefront again all right so bunch of balloons I think I've seen commercials for these as well uh, on TV so okay so this one is selling let's see what else they have in there oh they actually have a video on their page let me see if the jungle scout works against uh, their products if it loads anything okay there we go so they have two products three okay all right all right so I'm interested to see the seven oh wow look at this one guys like some of these are high reviews but seven reviews and they're doing 3300 already and selling at 1795 selling five units a day okay that's something I could get into let's see what this looks like 
So it's a bunch of balloons filler soaker. So it's basically a water gun that fills your balloons. Look at this. No, this one is a little high. Yeah, I mean, look at this. 158 reviews and it's doing $28,000 in revenue. That is amazing. 26 reviews, guys. Look at this. And it's doing $22,000 dollars in revenue a month and it's selling 35 units so all of a sudden I already have a product in mind now like see how powerful this is like things come up and what this is is um, it's a slingshot actually so let's go ahead and take a look at that and that's what it is guys you're gonna stumble upon things that you never expected you potentially could sell um, and so this the reason I go for low reviews is because I want to make sure my competition is low. When I get into that niche, I want to make sure that um, there are not a lot of people uh, selling that kind of product. And the way you gauge that is basically when you see low reviews, it means that there is demand for it and it's doing high revenue. It means that even if you're a new seller, you can actually do well with it. So this is what it looks like. It has a bunch of balloons. It's a slingshot that you can actually fill up these balloons with and then just, uh, yeah, have fun with it. Hit, hit your friends, whatever, what have you. This is what it looks like. It's a pretty cool item, actually. So, yeah, you guys see how powerful this is? Now, one minute ago, we couldn't load up storefronts, and all of a sudden, we found something that we could potentially sell. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys, how powerful this is. And within just 10, 15 minutes, you can find potentially the product that you want to sell. And you always want to make sure you add products in your catalog uh, or in your uh, category, in the same category that you're selling your other products. So if you're getting into toys, you want to make sure that your second, third, fourth product is kind of related. Possibly you could upsell the two together because that's a great, great way to sell together. What Amazon will start doing is it'll start suggesting that um, this product could potentially be bought with this one so uh, you can actually upsell that way so don't don't think about like that it has to be a completely different product it could be a related product and most of the time what that allows you guys is to create a unique product and you can actually take one product and another combine the two sell it together even and make something unique and that's how I know that a lot of products are out there already but it is up to you to find a creative way to make it into something unique so yeah that's it I hope you guys learned something very valuable today uh, I want to hear about your comments I want to hear about what you think of this video what you thought about this technique uh, and um, how powerful it can be for you and if you've used this already uh, let me know if you've had any success with it I would love to hear those stories drop the comments below subscribe hit the bell button and I'm gonna see you guys on Wednesday where I'll actually go over one of the most important things that you need to get over in order to be able to be successful on Amazon. So that video is going to be up on Wednesday and I'll see you guys then. Thank you.